Hey Astra Kids and welcome back. And in today's video we'll be talking about the sun in the second house. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So before we start, you first want to understand what sign is the sun positioned in. This is very important to see the qualities of the sun coming into this second house. You also want to see are there any planets conjunct or aspecting to the sun. Along with this, you want to see which house in your chart is ruled over by Leo, as the sun will have a direct influence over this house. The most important moment when the sun becomes active in your chart is during a sun mahadasha. So if you have not seen my video on the sun mahadasha buktis, I will leave a link for that above and down below in the description. So what does the sun represent? The sun is the signifactor of the soul. It is a very important planet in astrology. It is representing the soul signifactor of your existence. And so this is all about the purpose of why you have come into this lifetime. The sun represents your father and your relationship to your father, anyone in positions of government, authority, those in high ranking positions can be seen through the sun's influence. The sun is all about your ability to rise to power and success in life. It is how you are seen and noticed by others. The sun also represents your creativity and brilliance as well. It's your ability to be inventive, to really express yourself in the world. The sun also is related to wealth, to your health and vitality, to your overall strength, self-esteem, and confidence. The sun also is connected to spirituality as well, as it is all about dharma, the righteous path in life. Taking a higher path, following the right principles, is related to the sun's influence also. And this becomes a big test of where the sun is placed in your chart because there is a negative side to the sun. When you use this power incorrectly, it shows up as pride and arrogance. So you definitely want to keep a handle on this. With the sun, you always want to remain righteous and humble. So what does the second house represent? The second house is the house of your early upbringing. It is your sense of security and nourishment. All of the things that you need in life, all of the things that give you a sense of security. And so the second house is also connected to your wealth, to your food intake, and to all of your possessions. The second house is all about your early childhood, your family lineage, and the values that were instilled in you by your family. It is your moral values. It is everything that is important to you. The second house also represents the face. So it is a part of your appearance, the way that you come across to others. But most importantly, the second house represents the part of the face that includes the mouth. So it is all about how you speak. Do you speak in a way that is kind and respectful to others or are you aggressive? Is there authoritativeness in your speech? Is it deep? Is it melodic? All of this is seen through the second house. Along with this, again, the second house is about your food because this is your mouth. So it is all about your food intake. If you are taking in foods that are nourishing to your body that are good for your health, or if you are taking in harmful substances can be seen through the second house. So what happens then when the sun comes into the second house of the chart? Well, this is definitely going to give you a strong connection to your family. If the sun is placed well in this second house, this can give you a strong connection, especially to your father and your father's line. This can definitely make you someone who's very principled and you could have grown up in an environment that was very structured and very moral. You can take great pride in your family name and everything that is connected to your family in general. Your identity becomes a part of your lineage with this placement and you can become very prideful about expressing your family name and your background to the public. Your family and your traditions give you a feeling of security, give you a feeling of confidence, and definitely give a boost to your self-esteem. So again, there's a huge attachment to your family in general. And even when the sun is badly placed in the chart, you may have some struggles or challenges in your early upbringing. There may be some difficulties with relating to family members or even your family going through struggles at an early age. But this will manifest as you want to build security for yourself as you get older. So again, 
Whether this is placed well in your chart or not, this gives you a huge attachment to family and family values. This definitely can make you a very traditional person, someone who has very strong views, very strong values that you are attached to. But the sun is a fixed energy. We can rely on the sun to go from east to west every day. So it is fixed. It is constant. So this can also make you very stubborn and rigid in terms of your ability to change your views or beliefs. Definitely with the sun here, you want to be very careful about getting stuck in life. You can become very attached to your comfort zone, very attached to the things that bring you a sense of security and an inability to change or to move forward from this area. Because the second house is about everything that you own, this can show up in your attachment to your possessions, to your money. This can become a very materialistic placement and even hedonistic as well, where you can become very attached to physical objects. And this can give you a feeling of security. With this placement, again, family becomes extremely important to you. And your role, your sole purpose can be centered around family in general. So especially as you get older, past the age of 30, 36, you can find that you are playing a huge role in family, that others see you as an authority figure, that they see you as the go-to person in your family. So this becomes very prominent for you. Along with this, the second house represents the way that you speak, and the sun is the king, so you have a very authoritative way of speaking. You can have a very deep voice, or you can have something that is very prominent and illuminating about the way that you speak. You capture others' attention. When you walk into a room, when you speak to others, this becomes very prominent. This can sometimes be the placement of a politician, of anyone who is doing any kind of public speaking. Whether or not you are playing this role in your career, though, you definitely have a speaking ability that is attractive and magnetic. This can also give you excellent skills in terms of money management, especially when the sun is placed well. But this can also give difficulties around money as well, because the sun will aspect the eighth house of sudden ups and downs. So you can find that you have a lot of fluctuations in your finances. Definitely with this placement, you can bring in a lot of wealth again, particularly if the sun is placed well in this second house. But you may also be a bit of a spendthrift. There can be a lot of expenses that can build up. And when the sun is afflicted, this can become out of control. And definitely this can give you a feeling of insecurity because with the sun here, you enjoy stability, security. You like for things to remain constant. But with the sun aspecting the eighth house, this will definitely take you through many transformations throughout your life. Sun here can make you very skilled in business as well. You could find yourself being involved with business, but in particular, the sun is very independent. So coming into this second house of wealth creation, you could find yourself in self-employment or working for your family or finding some creative means to bring in wealth. But definitely, again, you can find yourself going through many transformations throughout your business where you have to reinvent, have to recreate in your business field many times throughout your life. Sometimes the sun here can also get you involved in investments. That eighth house is connected to stock market and investments. So that can also be seen. But you want to be careful with this placement. If the sun is badly placed, then you can definitely find yourself with a lot of losses. The sun here can definitely create a lot of problems around family, and this can bleed over into your family even after marriage. The eighth house is connected with marriage and the in-laws. So the sun aspecting onto this eighth house can sometimes bring about conflicts, arguments, disagreements, not getting along with the family in general. Sometimes this can destroy relationships. If you're becoming too dominating or too demanding in your relationships towards your spouse, there can definitely be some conflicts that come up in this area. So definitely, again, with the sun, you always want to use this power for the right reasons. So sun in the second house demands that you are remaining humble and that you are allowing other people to be who they are and do their own thing in your relationships. 
The sun also aspecting onto the eighth house is illuminating this eighth house of secrets and mysteries. So you can find yourself drawn to all sorts of secretive information, to occult knowledge, astrology, numerology, to all sorts of deep secrets and deep research. Sometimes with this placement, this can also make you very creative as well. Again, you want to see the other planets that are involved, but at the very least, the sun in the second house can give you a great appreciation for music and art. Again, this can make you a bit of a spendthrift, so you can be very luxurious with the sun coming into this second house. You have good taste and good mannerisms as well. You can find yourself drawn to the luxuries of life. Sometimes, particularly if the sun is placed poorly in the chart, not only can you have issues related to your family, but also with your children as well. There's a very strong karma that is related to the family when the sun comes into the second house. So again, you want to always remain humble and to make sure that you are treating others with kindness and fairness when the sun is placed here for sure. If the sun is not placed well in the second house, this can also bring about all sorts of mental disorders, anxiety, depression, some struggles that you can have, particularly if Rahu or K2 gets involved with this sun. It can definitely darken the effects of the sun in this area for you. And this can diminish your sense of confidence and self-esteem, your ability to take action and to make things happen in your life. So there can be some significant delays or struggles, particularly early on in life if the sun is badly damaged. Sometimes the sun here can give you an identity crisis as well. Again, your identity is heavily connected to your family. So you could seek great validation if the sun is poorly place, really relying on other people to define who you are rather than defining this for yourself. If the sun is badly placed, this can also give you very harsh speech. So again, you want to be very careful about how you are dealing with other people. This can also show difficulties around money making or poor ways of making money that can be seen in this placement also. So definitely with the sun here, you want to be careful about everything that you are doing. Doing everything in an honest and humble way is very important.